this is the entryway when you walk in and you can see all of our coats and we've got a ton of shoes down there my roommates freaking love shoes um the light is currently broken <laughs> it's currently out in the hallway so it's kind of hard to see and then this is my room which we will get into later after i show you guys the kitchen and living room so then you come in and you can kind of see an entire overview of the whole space there's a living room kind of dining area and then to the left is the kitchen um i really loved the kitchen when i moved in um or when i when to see the place um, it is very large and spacious it's so funny though because my roommates still have this like shelving unit um they they had this before i came so i moved in uh, about six months ago and they've been living here for like two years um so we have like stainless steel appliances we have a dishwasher which everyone knows is coveted in new york city we've got a lot of cabinet space in my opinion and then we have our fridge which i believe is standard size but i'm not sure i can't recall but it's pretty large to say the least and yeah then my roommates before i came they had like a keurig and a teapot and a microwave over there and we've got the We've actually got the silverware uh, on the walls, you can see, mounted, because we don't have that much counter space. And with the microwave and the toaster being on there and then the dish rack, we really kind of lose a lot of counter space. So then, to my right is the, the dining room area. I almost said living room. As you can see, it's quite minimal. I was attracted to this part as well when I um, came in to see the apartment when I was originally looking to move in. Yeah, that's just like a bunch of junk over there. But then we have these lovely plants and I love the light white curtains um, surrounded by all the green and stuff. Uh, yeah, that chair right there is just like where we work. It's more comfortable. Um, and the other chair that matches is over there in the corner and my roommate uses it for kind of like a a random catch-all storage and then we have this storage closet I won't show you because it's literally a mess but and then we have just a little area that we have for mail yeah and then we go over here more towards the left and this is our living area which is really cute and nice um, we've got this gray couch I'm not sure where anything is from because it was all here prior to me living here um, but then we've got like two little seating chairs my roommate has um, her plant that she's trying to put in direct sunlight, so she's left it there for a while. I've got my yoga mat in the corner because I was doing yoga this morning. There's a little printer station. And then over here, it's kind of like a similar setup with the white curtains and the greenery. And then they've got like a little bit of a, I don't even know what you would call these things, lanterns maybe? Um, but I just love, I'm obsessed with this like spot, this greenery and such. It's so nice. And it's kind of like a little plant corner because we've got our plant food over there and then we've got like a bunch of plant food over there because there's so many plants. And yeah, and then you have the TV. So this is just like a unit from Ikea. I do know that much. Um, and they just have kind of some random shenanigans in there, books and such. And there used to be plants on either side, but when I brought my TV, so this is my TV, I brought it, it's so large that we couldn't fit the plants on either side. So yeah, and then my roommate just has her bike over there. We have this lovely exposed brick, which I die for. And then we have this coffee table that my roommate actually built herself. She's an architect, so she, well, they're all, both of my roommates are architects or in architecture, I should say. Um, and then we have this couch, it's a gray couch, and we just have like some cushions. This is all here before I came, so I didn't have any say in the decor, but I didn't mind because I literally love the way it looked already. So then they just got some pieces, I think they, from, they acquired from traveling. Oops, my phone's going off. And then we've got like an, a little step stool, which I love because it's uh, wood, because it's wooden and it's just so cute. Um, and yeah, so these are my roommate's rooms, kind of very far from mine. And then we've got the bathroom, which I'll go in and show you guys. So it's just your standard bathroom, I'd say. Um, it's very small, in my opinion. As you can see over there, I had to get like a little rack thingy for all my stuff because they already had all their stuff set up. Um, I do like the way that they have this hanging thing from the ceiling. I thought that was pretty cute. Um, and then there's a shower. Yeah, and that's pretty much it's the bathroom. <laughs> so then out of the bathroom, we are just back into the living space. 
And then we go to my room. So this is my bedroom. It's a little tiny. Let me back up so you can actually see because it's so tiny. So yeah, there's not really much space in here. Um, I have this large mirror that I got from Ikea. And then I just got some books. Um, so these are all my books. I love my books, as you guys know. And then I have my hamper that I just got on Amazon because I moved pretty quickly and I didn't have time to kind of get a nice one. Um, and then there's my bed on the floor because I still haven't gotten a bed frame. And some of you guys might know that I um, had these pillows back when I lived in Hell's Kitchen. So I just repurposed them and used them for my bed. Um, and then I just have this gray blanket that my grandmother gave me at some point. And then I just have a few other blankets in the corner which don't look that nice. But there's not really much space. <laughs> um, and so then I just have, I have really high ceilings in here which is really awesome. Makes it feel so much bigger. But I've got my AC and then I got all my books and my little tiny plant over here here and then I've got like I think these are all books that I read yes these are all books that I read like favorites essentially and then over here you've got my makeup collection and it's not my entire makeup collection it's just what I usually use on like a daily a little alarm clock and then my favorite 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 piece which I'll always keep forever is my nightstand from Urban Outfitters you can't really tell but that's a little arrows um as legs and it's like white marble with gold and i really love it my grandmother got it for me so i will cherish that forever and then we have my dresser which i got from wayfair but i would not recommend it or was it all modern one of those i'll write it down i'll write it i'll write it in the video but basically it is not they like miss they were missing a piece or something so it's like all rickety and the the like drawers don't come out properly and stuff so when I had my task rabbit put together, he's like, yeah, that's definitely missing a piece. So, wouldn't really recommend that unless it was just a fluke. But then I have my Sonos. That was a gift to me from my last company when I left. And then I have my Himalayan salt lamp and more books as per usual. Because all I do is, like, obsess over books. And then I have my Otherland candles. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. It's like a little matchbox that they created. And, oh my god, I just love it so much. Um... And then I just have this candle from Anthropology that I don't know why I left it there. I think it's just because it was kind of pretty, if you can tell. But, and then I have my Otherland candle. This is in the scent Rattan, or Rattan, I'm not sure how you say it, but I'm obsessed with Otherland. So, thought I'd show you guys that, and I definitely recommend you checking them out. And then I have this jewelry box that was a gift, and my Daisy perfume that I always just leave out. Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Um, I love it so much. And... Then you've got my closet over here to the left. And I just keep my like tote bags and like my Seeky cat. Of course, duh, because we already know I'm obsessed with Seeky. And then I just have like junk back there. I don't even know. Oh, my laundry that's about to go out. Um, and my trash can that's bamboo. And I got that on Amazon as well. So yeah, that's my room for you guys. Yeah.